Joining us, I'm Bill Barajas. Now to that wild story involving the weed eater. It all unfolded on a dead end street in northwest Harris County on Friday. Investigators say lawn care equipment workers fought back after they came face to face with crooks. Tonight's KPRC 2's Gage Golden is showing us how this happened and who detectives are still looking for. A lawn care crew was out here hard at work, earning an honest living when one of the workers noticed something while weed eating. He saw not one, but two cars pull up next to his trailer. That's when he saw someone hop out, come over and grab two of his backpack leaf blowers, tossing them in their car. But the employee, he fought back using his own weed whacker to slash the suspect in the face. The suspect was kind of incoherent from being being hit in the head with the weed eater. You can almost feel the pain from just seeing Jarrell Alexander's mugshot. He's one of five suspects and the unlucky one who went face to face with a weed eater. He was he was halfway in the vehicle, halfway out in the process of putting the blowers in, and he was able to strike him with his weed eater in the head. Um, causing him to fall out the vehicle. A lawn care worker fighting back against the thieves, but it wasn't enough. They still managed to get away with the two leaf blowers worth around 1400 bucks. Alexander's friends initially leaving him high and dry before coming back. The red Nissan comes back, um, an occupant in the Nissan displays a weapon. They pull out a gun, threatening the lawn care worker and a neighbor who came over to help at this point. But the not so bright bandits dumped Alexander off at the hospital. Not before all four of them were caught on camera inside. Deputies now looking for their two cars. A black Mercedes and a red Nissan Altima. This is a popular quick grab crime, which usually ends up with selling the stolen goods to a pawn shop, which is why constable deputies want to make sure your equipment stays in your truck. Take photographs of your equipment, log the serial numbers down, you know, and you can go a step further, put in, put a special marking. Alexander is in jail facing charges of aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon. He is back in jail after just getting out recently. Please, hey, they're hoping the unusualness of this case helps those tips come rolling in. I'm reporting in Northwest Harris County, Gage Golding, KPRC 2 News. Terrifying moments caught on camera in North Harris.